Previously on Zombie Survivor, we started with 16 undead competitors who were placed back into the world of the living for a total of 39 days with one task, survive the suburbs. They've been forced to work together and form alliances. They've made friends and they've made enemies, but now there are only four contestants left and it's every ghoul for himself. Scary Jerry has been the top competitor so far and was one of the favorites going in. Before being undead, she was a medical doctor, which made her very observant to detail. No matter the challenge, she has been able to figure it out, and her knowledge of the human body has come in handy many times in this competition. Jerry was pushing to take control of the game, but hasn't been quite the same since her last run-in with poverty. I feel like the last inoculation challenge was mine to lose, and then poverty came from behind and stole it from me. I feel like I've been stabbed in the back. Poverty is the type of zombie that, if looks could kill, I'd also be undead. But when she opens her mouth, you realize she's actually very gentle. A volunteer firefighter and aerobics instructor for senior citizens before coming back from the dead, she currently spends her free time with kids, giving her a lot of patience, which shows in this competition. Poverty's biggest downfall might be that sometimes she is too trusting. She's not used to some of the extremes that the other contestants are willing to go to to win it all. I got screwed over. Deathen has been a real camp favorite. His biting sense of humor keeps everyone on their toes. Uh, so, Deathen, tell me about your childhood. He's hilarious. But he's also a real competitor. Nothing gets in his way. Try to distract him, and he just keeps on trucking. His focus is very intense. And finally, there's Goolby. The undead zombie of a special needs child, Goolby's story has confused a lot of people emotionally. There's the sympathetic feeling of, ah, oh, poor little guy, how's he going to solve these challenges with his substandard zombie brain? And then there's the, oh wow, look how well he walks sentiment. But now, people have started to think, oh my gosh, he could actually win this thing. I, I like trucks. It all comes down to this. One final challenge to see who will be our sole survivor. Who will be the sole survivor? Alright gang, it all comes down to this, one final challenge to see who will be our sole survivor. Everybody ready? Each one of you must read this book for as long as you possibly can. The last person reading will win immunity and get to choose who goes with them to the final tribal council for the title of Soul Survivor. Survivors ready? Go! Gooby, you're disqualified. You cannot tear the pages out of the book. Ah. Scary Jerry, you're out of here. You cannot eat the challenge props. This is it. The final two. It's down to deathin and poverty. Poverty has shown extreme focus in the past. Deathin, we don't know how he's still in this. Deathin. How are you possibly even still in this game? Honestly, it's a complete surprise that Deathen is still in this. Deathen, we don't really know how he's still here. 
Poverty is hands down the better contestant. Deathen should have been disqualified weeks ago. Deathen should probably have been disqualified weeks ago. How are you even still in this? 